Hey, I'm playing Seduce Me, the... Um, I don't know how to pronounce that word. But basically it's just a dating game that I found on Steam. It was free to play and that's how much I like spending. So I don't know the options or anything. I'll just jump right in here. Any character that resembles to real life people are purely coincidental. Okay, um... Also, please know that the following game is made for PG-16 audiences. Some sexual things, trigger warnings, abuse, implied rape, and suicide. You have been warned. You too have been warned if you're watching this. Um, please enjoy. Why, hello. My, aren't you a gorgeous sight? Can I be honored enough to know your name? Oh, well, aren't you charming? I bet you're wearing a fedora. And you're gonna start bitching at me if I turn you down. Um, what's your name? Um, my name is Boozy, because that's what I like drinking. Mm, a lovely name for a lovely person like you. Wonderful. Okay. Eric, do your job. Very well. This game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Laws and is powered by Renpy Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it since you'll be in it. Oh, what a sweet talker. Just get me my drink. Eric. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. <laughs> Come on! Is that all you got? Wanna try me, asshole? Crap! Missed! Let's retreat for now! N no kidding! Let's get out of here! That's right! You better run, you stupid punks! Stay out of our territory! This formula, created in the 70s, one of the most important in the field of financial theory. It is used to calculate the price of European style options and is widely used by option marketers, though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern research. I see I'm in school here. Oh, hello. Is that who I am? Or is this Boozy? And since it was the period right before lunch, yeah, but that's exactly what I'll be thinking of. Okay, so some sort of high school thing that she's got to do and she's bored of it and she's smart. And you just want to go there to hang out with friends. Well, that's completely the opposite to how my high school went, but we'll go with this. Yeah, I'm not even reading this now, I'm just sort of scanning. Miss Anderson. Oh, okay, so she's gonna start pitching at me. <laughs> it says boozy. <laughs> to name the equation I set up on the blackboard. Um, that would be the equation of how many uh, drinks I can drink until I'm on the floor. Which, it depends on what I drink really. <laughs> I'll go on the floor when I'm sober. <laughs> Very good as always, Miss Anderson. Oh, okay, thank you. I know I was right. You're a very bad teacher, teaching about alcohol. She kind of, the um, teacher lady, she looks like um, Rosa from Mutumi Neko. Um, Rosa, I think her name was? Um, Maria's mum, the psycho bitch. I mean, I liked her though, so shh. <laughs> 
Okay. So that's my best friend, and her name is Naomi. Okay. She needs the job. Oh no, that's Naomi. Okay, Naomi's a bitch. Miss Katini. Oi. <laughs> Care to tell me who the creators of this formula were? Uh, some guys named Black and Shoals. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. Okay. She was right. Very good, Miss Patterson. Show off. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. She doesn't have to study if she doesn't want to. She knew the names of them. My guess would have been Willy Wonka and Santa. That's the end of today's lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your project. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Oh, whoa, that's the first. Two people wanting to work with me. I, I was always the last picked in school. To, in, like, every subject. Like, holy shit, this is no experience for me. Actually playing a high school game where there's actual friends who want to be my friends and work with me. Whoa. But they're making posters or something. Alright, so let's see. We finished the budgeting section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? Alcohol and cigarettes. How about a company name? Huh? Did we really skip over that? Of course we did. You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff, but you completely skip over the facts. We need a name for our project. <sighs> At least you caught it this time. What do we name it? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? Oh, I was hoping she would actually say boozy then. Um. I like Trinity Corporation. That is way too predictable. How about the Dragon Company? The Bad Dragon Company? What do dragons have to do with our project? What? It's a totally unpredictable name. It's pop. Just like me. But our company sells bubble gum. We said we can't produce spicy bubble gum. <sighs> what do you think, Mia? What do you think? Hmm. Whoa, I just dropped my mouse then. That was stupid. Um. Trinity Corporation, that doesn't really sound bubblegummy, that sounds more like toothpaste or a uh, businessy type thing where people wear suits and none of us are wearing suits, I mean I'm wearing my pyjamas. Um, so I'm going to have to go with the dragon one because dragons are cool. My ashtray is a dragon's head actually and that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a popular girl. Can I have sex with her? Like, who, who is, is this? I, I mean, the game is called Seduce Me, so I assume there's going to be some um, things, and I'm sure if I was reading this right now, I would know. Doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. Does it matter? She can sit back and s enjoy her day if she wants. She probably is, but she's too much of a stuck up prick to allow herself to look like she's actually doing work. Oh, like me then. Oh, come on, Suzu. She may be a little off-putting, but she's not the giant prick that you're making her to be. The day she isn't the prick is the day I turn into you. What's that supposed to mean? I get taller and I grow my hair. And I wear a bow in my hair that doesn't match the rest of my outfit. Never mind. It's about time. Let's... Okay. The seat isn't even closest to the exit, and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. She's hungry. She runs out the door, but as soon as the bell goes, because she wants to be fast in the lunch line, and if you didn't stand there talking, I would be fast in the lunch line. So you're my least favourite friend. <laughs> I 
Okay, well I don't care, I'm hungry. Oh, not you too. She's turning you into a delinquent. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll use that excuse. <laughs> well it's not really funny. Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? Not yet anyway. We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. Are you kidding me? That class was ridiculously boring. Even the salutatorian here was dozing off. Okay, so it wasn't too interesting. But you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. Like so alcohol. You finally admit it. We're finally on the same wavelength. Welcome to the club, Patterson. Please, don't call me by my last name. This isn't the classroom. Never in a million years will we ever see things eye to eye. I want them to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so where are we heading to first? Who would even buy that? I wonder. Me? I would pay good money to get changed. Spicy chicken burger for me. That's my definition of a good meal. Oh, that sounds nice. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to need water or something to curb all that spicy flavor, Suzu. Ugh, I don't like tuna. Go away. I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's gotta be all or nothing. You're crazy. Oh yeah, I'm crazy. I think I'm getting a migraine. Um... Well, I don't like tuna sandwiches. Um, just mac and cheese. I don't. I the only uh, mac and cheese I like is like the homemade stuff. Like, and I'm sure this cafeteria serves it from a tin, which I don't like. So I go for the spicy chicken burger, as long as I can have like a lot of mayonnaise on it. I wish there was more options. Already. I know. Let's talk to those boys and I will never speak to you ever again. Aw, why not? What's so interesting about talking about guys? Not like any of us are gonna get boyfriends anytime soon. Um, excuse me. We don't know that. What if one of us does get a boyfriend? Like that's going to happen mainly. Look at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a ditzy blonde. She looks ginger to me. Hey! No offense. I don't think it's a choice. True. But that's good that they're like encouraging um like gay couples in this. Might as well get a boyfriend. Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. Yeah, I could get a boyfriend if I Ms. want. Anderson, please come to the main office immediately. Please bring your things with you. Oh, for fuck's sake, now I'm in trouble. Is it because I copied her dinner? Oh my. Looks like our plans have been cut short. The men in white coats have finally come to get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just it. Suzu, don't joke around. What if it's serious? Well, it must be serious because it was on the intercom, so you know. The whole school knows I'm in trouble. Ah, fine. If something happens, just call us. Cold, real cold. Let's get a jacket. Oh. Well, that wasn't good. Harold Anderson. <laughs> Shout out to Tumblr user King um King King 
Kardashian, that's it. I was I almost said Kim Kardashian and I was like, what now? The one that um chose to call his um Dragon Age character Harold. The best Dragon Age character. Anyway, back to the funeral. Um this is sad. So who is Harold Anderson? Did he have a beard? Oh. Ah, uh, his grand their grandfather, that's sad. Well this turned dark quickly. And now I shall read Harold Anderson's last will and testament. And to my dearest granddaughter, I give my estate. All the furniture and decor that resides within the house shall also be given to my granddaughter. Holy fuck. He passed the family estate to her? Why am I not surprised? Because you're a cunt, Dad. Dear. Well, did he say anything about what will become of the CEO and chairman position of the Anderson Toys Company? No. It is presumed that the vice chairman will succeed the position. Ha, <laughs> you got fucked. <laughs> Even to the bitter end, he wouldn't give in. <laughs> what a stubborn old man. I assume the granddad didn't like his son very much. About the estate. Should we send her there to get used to the building? It'll be a good place for her to live after high school. Are you sure we should? Oh, please. Why not? This would be a good experience for her. Honey, what do you think? Well, that seems to be it. We'll be taking our leave now. I'm sure the little heiress needs some time to adjust. David! Ha, <laughs> his name's David. Don't mind him, honey. I think that your grandfather's passing really affected him. Oh, of course. What? Who else would bury their own family the same day they pass away? True. Um, rest in peace, Harold Anderson. You obviously loved me the most. Aww. Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. I honestly didn't expect this to be like this. <laughs> I was just expecting some sort of anime chicks and then dating people, or dating guys on this one, but here we are, a sad backstory with a grandpa called Harold. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Which daddy? <laughs> oh, I would love to, but I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? It is. I was designing a new line of them, but I feel... Oh, that's so, cute. What do you think? Ah. Oh. He's getting his granddaughter to help him with toys that's that he makes. Idea. I'll get to changing it. That's really adorable. Want to make toys as well? Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. Your father. I'm sure he just wanted the best for you. Sweetie, look at me. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And 
Bullshit. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should care about. I'm just gonna However, skip this now. No Daddy, Mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. Because we'll be right here and here. So stay strong, promise? Alright then, enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? That's more I like know. it. Hey, slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> so is she his only grandchild or? Cook up your favorite lasagna when you get home, okay? Mom, I don't like lasagna. It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Oh, you're cheerful. Go ahead. I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a per- uh, Don't be so sensitive. If you're like that in the real world, you'll be crushed. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about. Oh god, he's an asshole. Don't like Stop him. Stop mumbling. Alright. Jesus. Don't be silly. It Look, this is all for the best. Oh. No, it's not. Of course I do. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. And I don't like your tone, old man. Do not raise your voice at me. You sure place him upon a pedestal, like he's some- Oh god, oh holy shit. You don't know anything! You did not know my father! You did- Is everything alright? Honey, wait! Fuck. Are you alright? Your father told me nothing happened, but... The lasagna's done, though. And I don't want you skipping any... The next... Please, dear. Tell me what's going on... Well, this is kind of sad. I'll just go back to Honeyflop. Nice ringtone. Hey Anderson, you there? Is everything all right? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Hello? What happened? Are you okay? Oh, well, at least she has nice friends. <laughs> Can that be my gang? I need to make two friends. Yeah, I mean, we're all taking on the world together. What's with you in naming things? You've got to step up your game, Naomi. Hello. Hey, I'm a cool kid. And 
now they're just arguing. Some girl talk, although it's already 1am. So where do the hot guys come in? Ugh, that's such a horrible sound. Wait, do you have the whole Anderson house to yourself? Lucky as hell, m <clears throat> Quit being so sensitive, Naomi. Quit being so vulgar, Suzu. Um... Suzu's right because holy shit, a whole fucking house. Of course you would side with her. You're practically dating. Huh. <laughs> See, at least she knows how to have fun. I know how to have fun. You don't need to be wild to have fun. You just need a lot of alcohol to have fun. Seriously? Hasn't even been a day since you came back. Still, that's really fast. Shoving people like that. Whoops. Did I strike a nerve, Capini? Holy shit. It's not me you should be appalled. Oh, Anderson. Hey, how's it go? Uh, having you. Of what? Her grandfather's. Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. I don't really watch a lot of. It doesn't really sound like you mean. I do mean it. Typical Capini. Isn't her family involved with the mafia or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she brought out a bat from behind her back right this moment. Uh, you know what? I'd bring out a bat too, just to smack you in the face. That is out of line, says the one whose family profits from political scandals. Yeah, your dad doesn't make anything unless he's in the court to- <sighs> Hey, let's all calm down for a second, alright? I'm- Hmm? Holy shit, she's standing up to her. Good for her. God damn. Um, basically, she's standing up to that girl there, the bitch one. And damn, that's good. I'm sorry. I know your grandfather passing away was a really... you're not going to feel comfort at, the, at that. I should probably be reading this because I'm just sort of scrolling through quickly. Well, I'll be going for now. Track meet responsibilities and all of that stuff. See you later. Bye, bitch. with her gaggle of friends behind her. <laughs> I love that words. It's just like a gaggle of people. <laughs> Is everything all right, girls? Oh god, don't you start. Nothing we couldn't handle. Suzu hush. I see. Well, Miss Anderson, your grandfather was a good man. Well, I know that you'll hell yeah, she will. She'll be 10 times better than her. Like, can I just move into the ghoul house? Me? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh. Hey, honey. About what happened yesterday. I'm sorry for yelling at you. No, you're not. You're just going to yell at me again today. I mean it. I shouldn't have laid a finger on you. You know that you're my most precious daughter. I'm your only daughter. I... Mm -hmm. And then we're just driving to Grandpa's house. See, he should have been looking after the granddad. How was school? Maintaining your grades, I hope. No. 
people were bullying me. Trying? That's not really doing the best you can, is it? Yeah, it is. It's just like trying your best. Oh my god, this game is so annoying. Well, not the game, that man. Oh my god. I want to punch him. Anyway. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him anymore. And can you imagine, like... You see the cars in the background, and the man is in the middle. It's just like there's a tiny little man in this car. <laughs> Somebody please draw that. Here we are. Go on in. Okay, bye. All right. Wow. What a bitch. I wish someone could give me a house like that. Oh, what? Men? There were guys here? Oh, there's blood. Um. Woman, you're going to let me kiss you. Oh, but that was direct. Good. Uh, go ahead. What? Um, you're going to let me kiss you. Go ahead, man that I've just met who's broken into my grandpa's house. The fuck it okay, so a lot of family drama, um people dying, school drama, and now this Sam, stop it. Hmm? Okay, so his name is Sam. I said stop. Now Okay, his boyfriend's jealous. Mm. He's hot though. Please forgive my brother. He's a bit reckless. Okay. I could tell. At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. Because you used your abilities on her. Sam, you're such a reckless brute. Taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Oh, he he's got a pink um waistcoat on, I like him. That that would be me. Yep, but there it is. Um, when I mentioned when I was reading the bit the beginning where it's just like, hey, um, it's a coincidence. Yep, that's a coincidence because that's me. I tried to dye my hair blonde, but it's gone ginger, and I'd totally wear that outfit. Yes. Shut that pretty boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. Oh, sexual tension. Jeez, you guys. Can we not fight right now? Not all of us are in the best state. Uh, and that's the weed. Uh, <clears throat> and that's the weed smoker. I guess you are right, Matthew. I agree. Oh, Please. Jesus Christ. Huh? Did you say something beautiful? Hmm. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I couldn't help exploding, but after being taken advantage of... Um, <laughs> Yowch! What's your pro yeah, but, but she, she kissed him. So... Um... Because he, he was there like, I'm going to kiss her. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I get it now. She only did because he used his weird magical powers to. Pervert! It was only a kiss! How could it end up like this? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> anyway. What? Was it your 
first kiss? Ow! Hey! What? So it was your first kiss. Stop making such a big deal out of it. Well, what do you want me to do? It's not like I can somehow take it back. Um... Well, we gotta be reasonable, and violence doesn't solve anything, but... Ow! <laughs> be violent now! Maybe. I mean, I did try to think about it. I mean, they're all kind of cute, aren't they? Miss, please forgive us in our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. So you just walked in? Yep, this is where we live now. I wish I could do that, just walk into someone's house like, yep, I'm gonna own this place now. We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. You don't look we wounded. Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we... Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. I could have told you that the moment I saw you. We're incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. Now we're talking. Hello? Did you we're telling the truth. You think she's still processing it? Yes. And she'll... Ahem. Incubi is the correct plural for. And yes, we do exist. All right, mister, I'm better than everyone else. Yeah, I would regret that too. Very well. Eric, go ahead. Which one's Eric? Oh, yes, the hot <laughs> one. Very well. My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise, you'll enjoy every minute. Maybe you'll even want more. Oh yeah, gonna get laid. <laughs> Once again, I was lost in a pool of calm and serenity. Staring into Eric's eyes, I felt the waves of heat course through my chest and onto my face, painting my cheeks red in their wake. I couldn't help but nod and agree to his offer. Yeah, okay. Mm. With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again in my chest, and my mind was sent spinning in a heated, passion-filled pleasure. Yet I could feel my body drain of energy as he kissed All me. Alright, that's enough. Ah, very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. I felt weak to the knees despite my... Will demanding me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. Okay, so you've taken like the most commonest boys' names and just slapped them. Okay, that's fine. I was expecting something more exotic, but fair enough. I would take Eric, please. Maybe Damien, if he stops being, um, thinking he's so great. Then again, Sam's nice too. Miss, are you okay? Shit, she fainted. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Hmm. 
Maybe I should order some food for delivery. Pizza. You're awake. Oh my gosh. So he's the cool guy one. I'll be calm here. Because he's also calm, he's not doing anything. That's good. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Oh, well, okay, I misjudged him. At first I thought he was a bit of a dick, but he's not. I can read minds. It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability, outside of our usual mind-altering powers. Okay. Well, he's quite nice. For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. My brothers are downstairs, cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> I'm making you dinner as an apology. Oh, I want to keep them. I'm keeping them and making me dinner. Oh, it's the least we can do after invading your home and two of us using our powers on you. Uh, do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Or perhaps you could get in bed? <laughs> Trust me. You go. Okay, that's adorable. I promise. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm used to it. Yeah, you're thinking about all this stuff that he can read that. It's like I'm reading it, just about, and he's reading it. It's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. That's me. Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. Oh, that's nice of you. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? No, I'm just blushing because the other one was being sweet. Yeah, see, so she just said it. Well, if you say so. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. No, Eric took my breath away. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Ta da! Oh my gosh, okay, that is adorable, whatever that is, and it's got a tiny little knife. Maybe it's not that adorable. Wait a second. What did I just make? This, this is. <laughs> ah, what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> I like him. Same. That's... That's gonna be the thumbnail, I've decided. And it's gonna have my face on it. <laughs> Get it away from me! You might be possessed by a demon or something! That's not what I wanted to make! I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal and just something to cheer you up. Bad luck. But it looks
looks so creepy. <laughs> You're welcome. It's good to see you smile. Even though the thing I made still kind of creeps me. Anyway, you should come with me to the dining room. We're almost finished with the food, and, well, I don't mean to brag, but we're pretty, pretty much... Sorry about that silence, the dog kind of was being noisy and the microphone picks up the dog sounds because it's just so loud. Oh gosh, anyway, I think I'm gonna save this here and be done with it and I'll probably play it again, maybe. Um, because it is quite a fun game. And now that we're just getting into the sexy part. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And all that jazz. I wonder if there's actual sex scenes in this. <laughs> That'd be fun.